welcome back everyone so this video is going to be a continuation video to the previous one we uploaded so in this video we'll be seeing how you can actually test your AR filter on a real device and then later we'll be seeing how you can upload it to Instagram or Facebook so once you are satisfied with the AR filter that you created and you feel that you can test it on a real device you can actually head towards the left bottom of the screen here you have an option here to test on device once you click on that, you are being provided with two different options here. The first one is using a Spark AR filter player. And the next one is send to app. So we'll be seeing that later. So first let's focus on this. So for that, you have to install an app on your device called as Spark AR player. So go to your Play Store or Apple Store and search for Spark AR. You will find this app, just go ahead and install it. Uh, it lasts for some permissions here, you can just uh, approve it. And then you will have the screen here which is empty. So now just go ahead and click on the send option here. So once you do that, uh, yeah, before that you need to connect your device uh, to the laptop or system you're working on. So once you have connected that, uh, you will be actually seeing this option, basically your device being connected here. And then you can click on send here and immediately it will send this particular filter onto that app and it will launch the filter. So once you have launched the filter, you can actually record it. You can uh, actually test it in all the different directions in real time on your device. You can also see the frames per second on the top. So how well it's performing with the assets and all stuff. So that is a way you can test it. And then moving on to the next option here, uh, that is send to app. I'm clicking it again. So yeah, uh, the send to app option here has two options, which is Facebook camera and Instagram camera. So based on whatever app you have on your device, you can go for it. I have my Instagram installed on my app. So I'll click on Instagram camera send. And once I do that, it will actually upload the filter uh, to Instagram temporarily and it will create a temporary link and yeah uh, we have the test link ready you can actually use the test link or also you can go to your instagram app and you'll have a notification so just click on that notification and hit on continue and you can test your uh, filter directly on your instagram app so also you can record it so i would say record and keep a version of the uh, filter here we'll need it later so now that you have done with testing, the next step would be how you can upload it to Instagram or Facebook. For that, just go for the export option here or you go to file, you have an upload option. So once you click on that, uh, it actually tests for some requirements. Basically for Facebook, you can go up to 10 MB and for Instagram, you can go up to 4 MB each. So the asset size should be within these limits. So our filter is pretty much uh, inside the 1 MB limit. So we are good to go here. So just hiding the details here. And the next one is capabilities. Uh, it's all uh, approved. And you can actually go ahead and publish it as a new effect if it is a new one or you can update your previous ones. So this is a new one. So I'll go for new effect and upload. And once it's done uploading, you will be automatically uh, redirected to a website here. It's a dashboard of Spark AR known as Spark AR Hub. And then you have the option of on which platform you want to upload it. So I wanted to do it on Instagram. So I click on Instagram and then I'm providing it a name. You can go ahead with any name you want and you can select a category. This is regarding the virus. So I go for causes. And then I type on face mask, mask and all different tags that you want people to search and find you. And this is the video that I told you previously uh, that you got to capture. So once you have captured that, you can upload it here. So I've already done that uh, when I was testing the filter. So once it's uh, uploaded, you can actually select a cover image from the thumbnails basically. And you can also see a demo of it playing here. And then you need an icon, uh, which needs to be at least 200 into 200 pixels. So I already created an icon and I uploaded it. And then you have some publication information, then giving some instructions and description. 
And once you're done with all these details, just go ahead and click on submit. So once you do it, uh, you will be ending up on this particular screen. So mine is already accepted, but here you will have an uh, status saying that uh, pen pending review. So it usually takes around uh, one to two days, but now due to the crisis and all, it's, uh, it shows a 10 days uh, estimated time, but still uh, within, uh, I would say two or three days, it gets easily approved. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.